Before you enjoy my entertainment, I do ask that you go ahead and subscribe to the Cards of Diecast 4 channel. It's not all that difficult. Just make sure that you click on the blue sign in button. And when you do so, sign in with your Google credentials. If you don't have a Google account, just click on more options and create an account. Once you have done so, go back to the Cards of Diecast 4 channel. And then once you are there, just make sure that you look around for the red subscription buttons. Or if you're watching one of my videos, just go down to the description link. And there you will find the Cards of Diecast 4 name with a red subscription button. Or you could click on the link that I have in the description below. And then once you are done so, it will give you a prompt to subscribe. And that's all you have to do. And with that said, enjoy tonight's entertainment. Cards 2 Die Cast 4. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another edition of the Cards of Die Cast 4 channel. I want to thank you all for watching. And in this video, Miss Patrick is here. 2017 Torque is here. Although we just got done doing Torque not too long ago, feels just like yesterday. I was ripping those eight boxes for you all, although seven was recorded. And really giving a bad review of it because the stock on these cards were terrible. They look like they have been handled for years because of the thick stock and the poor cutting involved. However, we're going to go ahead and uh, delve into the 2017 version. And the reason why is because at least for this 2017 version, there is going to be quite a bit, although not all drivers did this. Of course, Brad Keselowski uh, made a post on my Facebook that he seems to be allergic to on-card autographs. But the thing is, though, is that the 2017 edition will feature many on-card autographs, including Danica Patrick, Dale Earnhardt Jr., a lot of the top stars. In fact, I think right now the only one that I have seen with a sticker so far has been Brad Keselowski. Why that's the case, I'm not sure. And as a bonus... We're going to do a couple boxes of Prism just in case these two boxes are the absolute craps. So let's go ahead and delve into what we can and hopefully, hopefully we can get ourselves a good hit. All right, well, so before we open it up, let's go ahead and take a look at what the box is going to look like. Of course, the featured driver, as I said, is Danica Patrick. We are going to be receiving five packs per box with ten cards per pack. And there is supposed to be at least one hit per pack. Uh, we are pretty much going to be expected to get three autographs and two mem cards, which is why uh, the $140 right out of the box price is pretty much what you're going to be paying. Uh, of course, uh, you know, the longer the thing goes down uh, or the thing moves on, the price will significantly go down, especially if the demand ends up not being all that great. Uh, three autographs, two mem cards on average with the likelihood of having one card being a autograph and memorabilia together. So a lot of the stuff that you saw last year, the material pairings, you have like a Tony Stewart, Danica, maybe they both had a, a piece of tire from each driver, so on and so forth. So uh, let's go ahead and delve right in here and see what we can get. Shouldn't be too long of a break. In fact, the, the prison boxes are probably going to take a lot longer than these torques. So there we go. That's what the box is pretty much going to be looking like here. Are the packs, that nice green color. I will say it's a little bit of an improvement from last year's blue and black and looking really beat up. Look, this here has that cool neon, or no, not really a neon, but it has that metallic green, I should say. Very nice appeal. Uh, let's see here. Uh, they all feel pretty thick, although this one feels like the thinner one. So we're going to go ahead and open this thinner pack here first because likely it's going to have that one autograph line where it's not a memorabilia, it's just a flat autograph, and it's either going to be of a retired driver or an up-and-coming driver. So let's go ahead and see what we can get here for this very first pack. All right, let's do this. Terry Labonte, Texas Terry, as you can see right there. And... Get it in light. Let's sh let shine up a little bit. Flip it around. Once again, it's a new product, so all the cards are going to be getting front and backs. Here comes a Ryan Blaney for his Xfinity ride with a discount tire car uniform. And we'll take a look at that, and then we'll flip it around. And then let's see here. Well, looks like we're going to get our first numbered card, although the cards seem to be stuck. First number card is going to be of an Xfinity driver, Brandon Jones. And this is a blue 33 of 150. See if you can get the numbers right there at that corner right there. 
flip it around and now take care of that here we have a running order for Joey Logano very prism-esque finish right there but does not appear to be numbered zoom in a little bit more here and then we get our first autograph and as I said it, it is a legends driver however let's go ahead and go to the uh, one clear vision I think per box I, I think there's only one of these per box now I think I could be mistaken 38 of 99 for Ryan Newman superstar vision flip around basic bland uh, white background and then we have directing traffic for slugger labby so we're starting to see the crew chiefs now being involved here I think I saw another one for Tony Gibson in another box break here is a standard base card I presume for Joey Logano silver for the base color and then we have another one for Joey Logano this one is pre-race so we have pre-races and then we have what was that other card it's just the baseline card. This is the pre-race version. Not to... <laughs> Although I can't really... I don't think this is too much of a pre-race, this card over here. I think this is like they were taking the same picture. It's a little bit of disappointment right there. And then, of course, with, uh, we get the, the car card for Joey Logano. So very Joey Logano-esque with this first break uh, in terms of his base card lines. However... The autograph for this pack, as I said, it's a Legends driver, not numbered, but it is on card for Ned Jarrett. So Ned Jarrett will be the first autograph, and we will get that out of the way there. Nice, solid on card autograph for the legend Ned Jarrett. So let's go ahead here, and I am predicting a combos material in this pack here. And it looks like I was wrong. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting any combos material. It looks like we might be getting another on-card autograph here. Victory Lane for Chris Boucher. Then we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. This appears to be his base card. If I'm going a little too fast, remember you can pause the video. I am recording in 4K, although I do upload in, in 1080p. Zoom out just a little bit more. And then here comes a William Byron coming at you. The one of one autograph from the driver signature line from Prism I actually own. Hopefully this guy will be the next Jeff Gordon. That will be a nice investment for me. Gary Golding, here we go now with the Dr. Pepper colors. Base card for him. Flip him around. And then we have Austin Dillon pre-race. I think that's the first dud line, in my opinion, right there. Looks like they're just trying to expand the, the base set there with pre-race. Uh, here we go now, Kevin Harvick. This might be his base card here. And then we have here a Chase Elliott. And this is Trekside. Trekside, Chase Elliott. Prism-esque finish. And then we have another Chase Elliott card, and this one is 6 of 25 for pre-race. And I believe this is the blue color, or prismatic color. You guys decide. And then finally, or no, not finally, we got another clear vision. Looks like we get one per pack, I presume now. Uh, 4 of 99 for, who is that? That is a Blake Cook. Lovely card, however, at the same time, these, these cards here never really entice me very much. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. On card autograph out of 49, 8 of 49, red for Carl Edwards. So they know they got him down for another year of making autographs. Although a lot of his autographs were redemptions in the National Treasures line. Good to see that he is fulfilling his obligations for his fans, despite the fact that he retired also suddenly. 
Could be the driver of the number 10 car next year. You never know, depending on what they want to do with Danica right there. So that is pack number two. All right, let's go ahead and go into a thick pack here. And if this is the fire suit autograph or sheet metal autograph, we're going to save that for last. So let me go ahead and cheat here. Have to do this on you guys, but I got to. No, uh, yes, actually, let's go ahead and cheat. Let's go to the next pack. And let's go ahead and get our memorabilia cards out of the way. Very thick pack right here, very fat here. No uh, dummy stocks as far as I could see so far. Well, let's see if we're gonna have one here as we flip the cards around. Uh, clear vision though for Bill Elliott, awesome Bill from Dawsonville. Looks like the base card there, the old McDonald's card brings it back to today, doesn't it? Here we have number one of 199, eBay one of one for, what is this here? I Heroes, Horsepower Heroes. Here's the edition of the Horsepower Heroes for 2017. If I could get that in the light. Let me zoom here a little bit more. There you go. Number one of 199 for Joey Logano. Pre-race, Denny Hamlin. I got back up more. Pre-race, Denny Hamlin. And so here we have a base for Martin Truex Jr. Here we have Jimmy Johnson base, or no, this is family time. Family time? Is it me being too uh, cynical, or are they really trying to fatten up that baseline? Fan interaction, not number for Casey Kane. Rusty Wallace in the old Miller Lite colors. Base card for him. Flip him around. And now let's go ahead and go to our numbered card and this is actually it's not even numbered gold color though for uh, Kyle Larson gold version of the base I presume much like last year I know they have the gold version but it wasn't numbered so maybe a gold parallel for the bases here is a 35 of 49 primary paint last year I think was the special paints this year it's primary paints 35 of 49 for Matt Kenseth and the DeWalt colors and then our relic. Wow, nice hit right here, guys. Let me zoom in a little bit more here. We got three of five, Dale Jr. and Chase Elliott, three of five, dual relic, double sheet metal. Nice hit right there, three of five, dual relics. Not really a relic guy, but this is actually a pretty good one right here. Dale Jr. and Chase Elliott, dual relic, three of five to close out this pack here. All right, and the final pack that I have not opened, of course, we have that other autograph right there. I want to save that. We do have an autograph with that other pack that I set aside, but let me go ahead here. I want to get the memorabilia cards or memorabilia packs out of the way first. 109 of 149 green for Rusty Wallace Torque uh, Clear Vision. Then we have 78 of 199 for Jamie McMurray and his manufacturer make. Here we have Jimmy Johnson pre-race. Here we have Chase Elliott, looks like a baseline card for him. And then we have pre-race for Martin Truex Jr. Brandon Jones, base card for him. We just saw his uh, blue out of 50, I believe. Or 25, actually. I'm not too sure. I forgot already. 
Advocare for Mr. Trevor Bain. Baseline card for him. And then we have our, no, this isn't Chris Busher anymore. It's uh, David Reagan. Primary paint. We just saw a base card for him. Now we got 150, 150. So we got the eBay one of one here. And this is purple or blue? I can't tell. My, color, my, my ability to decipher colors is not very good. Rusty Wallace. And then we have, for a relic card here, another low number, 1925. 19 of 25, or I should say. Double fire suit for Eric Jones. Nice hit right there. So I would say that's a pretty good deal. Pretty base, pretty good box here, I would say. And with this autograph right here, I think we're going to have another good hit. So let's go ahead and get to that final pack with the last autograph. And this one has the autograph and the relic combined. 45, 149 for, actually, who is this? Martin Truex, pardon me. And this is the track vision version of the acetate cards track vision and then we have 36 of 99 for manufacturer marks chase elliott here we have now ty dillon with the xfinity ride base card for him Kevin Harvick, freaky fast, car card base for Kevin Harvick. Notice uh, Budweiser. Budweiser actually I, is pretty str stringent on not wanting to advertise anything that kids could get to. Because uh, if you remember the old Dale Earnhardt Jr. days, his, his Budweiser logo would always be censored out. Kaz Gala, or Garla, or Grala. Kaz Grala, pardon me. Base card for him. Casey Kane, pre-race. Kyle Larson, base. We're racing him with uh, one of his numbered cards right there. So, fan interaction for Jimmy Johnson. Rocking the beard. And then we have 80 of 100 for Ryan Newman pre-race. And this is the green or red color? This is red here. Red color for pre-race Ryan Newman. And then finally to close out box number one. Let's check it out here. 22 almost got the car number. 22 of 49 tire sheet metal, sheet metal on card autograph for Ryan Blaney. And this is the blue version. 49 out of 49 on card autograph. Not a big fan of Torque, but I will give them credit where credit is due. Panini came through this time for the, I would call, consumer grade collectors. Of course, who wants to spend $800 or, or rather $400 on a box of National Treasures uh, in order to get on-card autographs? So here, was, here is what I would consider to be a more consumer-friendly, consumer-grade release, and they're coming out with on-card autographs for that. So that was a good box number one. Let's see if we can't get, keep this uh, ship going or this car going or whatever you want to call it with, uh, all right, box number two. I'm going to go right through just like before and open her up. What I was trying to do with the first box was figure out how to open it properly so that you can kind of see how it's going to look like at your local card shop. She pops up out like this and then it's supposed to be something like that. But of course I don't know how to do it like that. So let's go ahead and get these packs out of here. So just in case you're with your buddies, of course we have gone through our first box 
and we did not see any dummy stocks. So uh, the thinner pack we will go ahead and open first because they likely will hold as we did earlier. It has that on-card autograph only hit and that it also usually is an up-and-coming driver or a retired driver. It seems like the current stars that they have today, those are the ones that are in the thicker stocks with the autographs, with the relics and whatnot. So here we go with pack number one of box number two, pre-race. Chase Elliott, I think we may have already done that card. So let's set that aside. AJ Allmendinger makes his debut for this video. Base card for him. Here we go now with uh, Blake Cook. I think we've already done him already. But this is, yeah, he, we've already done him. And then we have 134, 150. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 134, 150 for Chase Elliott. And the reason why I'm saying uh-oh, uh-oh, you will find out here in a second. Let's set that aside. Kale Yarborough. 89 149 for Kale Yarborough, and this is the uh, Visions of Greatness acetate version. I mean, there's a bunch. We got Clear Vision, we got a bunch of other ones here. I already forgot the other names. There's so many of them. Here we go now with 152 199 Rodney Childress, uh, the Directing traffic, so the cheat crew chiefs are starting to get some cars here. They're starting to expand on the uh, baseline to outside of drivers. Fan interaction for Kevin Harvick. Base card for Mark Martin in the Viagra car days. Still giving some love to some of the older drivers. Giving them, giving them a chance to have their cards out there to a... Uh, uh, a new a new fan base, if you will, although there's not a lot of new fans out there for NASCAR. Family time for Clint Boyer, although we see him with no family. So let's go ahead and flip it around. You could read what it says there on the back. And then the reason why, let me see here. No, actually, we're going to find out together. There's going to be redemption cards here, guys. And I think this might actually be a Carl Edwards, to be honest. Let's see. Let's find out together. In fact, you guys figure out first. Who, who's who's the redemption for? Anybody good? Read the redemption card. Is it anything good? All right. So let's see what this says. Eric Jones, and we are going to get a 2017 Panini Torque, and this is going to be the green version. So I'm not sure what the green version is. I might try to put it up here on the board right now or on the screen right now as to what the number of the card is going to be. Green for Eric Jones. He does not have his autographs ready so far. Well that was a little bit disappointing because that actually means that's because that's the silhouette fire suit signature so that was going to be like the big main event autograph for this box so we're not going to be able to have a good finish unlike the first box because that that's that's really the big hits right there those silhouette uh, fire suits or sheet metal autographs where you have that big relic along with a great on-card autograph that was the big selling point for this deal unfortunately we are not going to have that for this box it doesn't look like Richard Petty here we go with Richard Petty and his base card just sent a one of one autograph or one of one uh, seven time champions die cut to him bought on eBay and hopefully he will be able to sign it for me. Family time. Now we actually get to see a family with his uh, daughter, looks like, Ryan Newman. And then we have a Martin Truex running order, not numbered. Flip it around here so we can take a look at the back. And then we have another Ryan Newman card. This time is 13 of 25 for the pre-race. And this one is a prismatic finish. Then we have our autograph for this pack. It's going to be a Legends driver. 89 of 99, though, for the acetate clear vision finish for Mark Martin in his Valvoline days. 
Just couldn't beat that Jeff Gordon back in the day. The, the guy who was probably the closest to doing it. Just couldn't do it. And here we go. Jeff Hammond directing traffic in his old Tide days with the good old DW. And then we have Brad Keselowski pre-race. And then here we have Clint Boyer in almost the same exact picture of his family time card. And then the last base card here, Fat Interaction for Denny Hamlin. And the hit for this pack is going to be on card autograph 1625 for Ken Schrader. So you usually have one autograph being that of a younger driver or a, and that's for the driver scripts line, or of a retired driver. So that's usually what the driver scripts are. That's what I remember for last year. Three more packs to go, and here we have another thinner pack. As we stated earlier, that Eric Jones hit. Well, I can't even get it open. That Eric Jones hit was going to be pretty much our main event hit. So let's see if we can get at least get ourselves another three of five, or maybe even a one of one relic, dual relic. My goodness. Maybe that'll redeem us here. And we will filter some things around here. Let me see if this is a, an autograph. And yes, it is. Uh, and we'll go ahead and showcase it. It's not all that fantastic. And here is a Horsepower Heroes for Dale Jr. base. Zoom in just a little bit more here. Xfinity for Brandon Poole. Denny Hamlin, base card for him, and let's see if they also let's let's go flip that back real quick. And it no, actually they do show the Jumpman logo now this time. I think I made mention last year they censored the Jumpman logo from his uniform pre-race for AJ Allmendinger. And then we have Denny Hamlin. Car card base for him. And then we have ourselves pre-race again, this time for Kevin Harvick. And then of course we got a couple stuck cards here. Pre-race, this time is 34.50 for Brad Keselowski. Blue, looks like, or purple. Uh, this looks like it's blue. Flip the card around right there. And then we have primary paints for Casey Kane. Go to sleep, computer. And then here we have Jeff Burton. In his old Sitco days, 98 of 99, back when the All-Star Race was a little bit more uh, entertaining, he did the deal with Frank Stoddard. Frankie Stoddard, I believe it was a crew chief at the time. You're supposed to make a pit stop within the first 50 laps of the first uh, round, and they wound up having a pit stall right before the checkered flag line, so they was able to pit right at right before the race ended and almost made it work. Carl, uh, uh, not Carl, but Cale Yarborough is going to be our autograph. So those are three autographs, two legends and the Eric Jones Redemption card. So it looks like we're going to have two relic cards to complete our box here. So hopefully we could get ourselves a good numbered hit. If not, we still got those torque boxes that we can rely on. And here we go now. Got that big thick relic card right there. Very nice. So let's just filter that out and set that aside. Here we go now. Justin Allgaier this time is clear vision for the acetate hit. 
follow that up by a 60 of 99 for Jeff Hammond, this time for his uh, directing traffic, but this is the prismatic version. We'll set that aside, we've already done a back of him. Daniel Hemrick makes his debut in this video. Smoky Mountain Chew, Herbal Tobacco Chew, or Herbal Chew. I think that's what that is there to try to get people not to smoke, I presume. I'm not much of a smoker. Kyle Bush Car Card. Kyle Bush Car Card. Flip that around. And then we have Xfinity for Joey Gase at Donate Life. The Donate Life driver. Flip that around for him. And then we have ourselves Joey Logano. And this time his Xfinity ride. Put that around right there for you all to see. And then we have Austin Dillon. And this is his base card for his cup ride. Flip that around. And then we have our primary paints. This time 60 of 99 for good old Richard Petty. As I said earlier, may not have made it clear, the seven-time champions die cut from Prism Racing. Uh, was bought by me, the one of one version, and I actually have sent that and is actually in the hands of the Petty Museum. So hopefully Mr. Petty will be able to sign that card for me, ship, ship it back. Uh, postage was already included, plus a priority mailbox. Be able to get that back, and once I get it back, I'm going to send it to PSA to get it slabbed and authenticated. And then... I'll be able to showcase that to you all in a future video. And then we have the hit for this pack, but I'm actually going to save it because it's actually a little special to me. So that should give you a hit as to who that relic card is going to be of. And the reason why I don't want to see it is because who knows, maybe we have the one of one for that driver. But let's go ahead here and go to the final full pack here. Acetate card is going to be 109, 149 for Clint Boyer. This is the clear version or clear vision. And then we are going to do 35 of 199, Victory Lane, for Denny Hamlin. This is green. Flip that card around. And then we have Jimmy Johnson, base card, car card. And then we have Brendan Gone. Was able to pull a, a signature series autograph for him from the Donruss Fat Packs. You can watch that video here on this channel. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Chris Busher. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Interactions, Fan Interaction Base. And then we have ourselves a Primary Paints for Kevin Harvick. Forty-one one hundred for Greg Biffle. Wow, Greg Biffle's still in this deal. So Greg Biffle fans, there's at least something for you to get here. Try to get that number in the light. Flip the card around for good old Greg Biffle, who as of this time, as of right now, I does not, do not believe he has a ride. And then our hit for this pack will be $28.99 tire fire suit for Ryan Newman Blue. And then finally, ladies and gentlemen, to end the torque Release, one more time for Ryan Newman. Yep, Danica Patrick. And so let's see what we have here. We were gonna have a duel. We got a sheet metal and a fire suit. So let's see, is it a low number guys? Low number? Mm. No, not no. Actually, it's a pretty high number, thirty-eight ninety-nine though for uh, Danica Patrick. And as you could tell, they're still utilizing the Nature's Bakery fire suit 
from what they I guess what they had last year. And then of course here is the looks like Aspen Dental sheet metal right here for Danica Patrick. So let's go ahead and just take it like that. Not too shabby for two boxes. I don't think that was all that bad. Of course, the high price tag of $140 is a, is a, is a turnoff, I'm sure, to some of you out there, and I don't blame you. I do actually have two more boxes of this coming my way, but I don't think I'm going to actually open it. I'm going to try to actually sell it. But we got a couple good hits nonetheless. Let me go ahead and try and f filter some of these hits out for you to do a little bit of a last-minute showcase. Uh, of course, the as we went through these, you notice that if you're trying to, like if you get a, a pack or a box and you want to split the packs up between your buddies and you want a little bit of insider info, of course, you know that the thinner packs are going to feature the simple on-card autographs, although we did see, of course, Carl Edwards. That was a pretty good autograph right there. But uh, then again, we also could be getting ourselves, usually it's going to be either an up-and-coming driver or a, a Legends driver, as we see here with... Kale Yarbrough. So maybe that's something you want as well. So maybe that's the pack you want to go to. But of course, if you want to try to get that big, the big hit, if you will, of, of every box is going to be that current driver with the relic. But then of course, we could get the dreaded redemption card as we see right there. So this has been the Cards of Diecast 4 channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. And guess what? We're not done yet. We got those two boxes of Prism to do. So let's go ahead and do that.